Good evening. My name is Jason Debley and tonight's whiskey review is taking us back to the Highland region of Scotland. The category is single malt scotch. The distillery is Glen Morangi and uh, we're going to try the Quinta Rubin 14 year old. So Quinta Rubin is a release by the Glen Morangi distillery and in the past it was a 12 year old age statement but back in I think about 2020, two years ago, well almost two years ago now, they bumped up the age statement on the Quinta Rubin, but dropped the age statement on the Nectar Ore, I think down to 10 years, they might have taken it away entirely. And so with the Quinta Rubin, what you're getting is Glen Morangi's distillate, their whiskey that's previously aged in ex-bourbon casks, then it's what they call finished in port uh, pipes. Pipes are smaller casks than uh, the typical cask or barrel that holds, say, bourbon. And the port pipe affords a more complex, rich flavor than you sometimes get with sherry casks, unless you get very high quality sherry casks. And the difference in taste between sherry and port is there too. And for those reasons, Quinta Rubin has been a favorite of mine when it was a 12-year-old age statement. I have a bottle here. As you can see, I've been working on it. And I got home from work, haven't had supper, haven't had anything neat in a while, so I think I've got a pretty clean palate. And I'm just going to put a little bit of this in and do a little tasting. Now. Although the age statement is, oops, I spilt a little bit of whiskey. Still got some, but I spilt it on my laptop that you can't see. Ah, darn. Ah, worry about it after. In any case, uh, I was just going to say the age statement is 14 years now. It used to be 12 years. But when I carefully read the website for Glen Morangi, it's not clear that... When it was a 12-year age statement, the understanding was that after 10 years of aging in ex-bourbon casks, the final two years or, you know, 15 months thereabouts, year and a half, was in uh, a port cask, or port pipes. Here, you might assume that after 10 years, it goes for four years in port pipes. They don't really come out and tell you that. So you don't really know how long it ages. You've got to go really based on taste. In the past, this was a robust, powerful uh, single malt of the Perry, of the uh, port, ruby port style. So on the nose, I'm picking up tangerine, obviously like uh, rose petals. What you typically uh, relate to port. Now, it's not what you would think. You would think port and sherry are similar coming from Portugal and as a spirit they do have somewhat similar tastes, but on the nose it, it doesn't come off as being sherry. There's a slight peat, there's earthen, kind of loam and rose petals. Okay, on the palate It's initially, I taste earth and peat, a little bit of peat, then come the rose petals, then come the Florida oranges, and then port. And port, what does it taste like? Kind of like red licorice with some strawberry in it. watermelon, red grape. Towards the finish it, it dries. Finish is quite long. Oh, and I, and I should say the alcohol by volume is 46%, so this is not a lightweight whiskey. It's got flavor, it's got balance, a little oomph in it, but there's no alcohol note. There's nothing that's offensive here.
it's drying on the palette. I really like it, and um, I'm not convinced it's been in a port cask, port pipes for four years after 10 years in ex-bourbon. It's hard to tell. The master blender can always determine when they feel a whiskey has reached its zenith. But the two additional years, or however they're spent, we don't know the wood management, uh, turns out a quality product. And the price point for this is good. In Canada, it's under $100. I can't recall exactly, maybe around $89. In the United States, it's going to be even cheaper. So it's, it's still good value for money. Even, you know, back in the day, the 12 year old Glen Morangi uh, Quinter Rubin was really good value for money. This is for those who can't afford regularly you know, the, the Sherry Wood or Sherry Cask Macallan 12 year old, which is, is different. It's Sherry Cask as opposed to this port, but they're both in the same family of dark red fruit, strawberries, and those type of notes. The finish is long. There's a mineral note. I like, really can't complain. Um, yeah, it's good whiskey. Is it better than the one from years ago? Some people debate it. I think they're both very good. I think the one years ago, which is not too many years ago, might have been a little bit more robust, a little over the top flavor wise in terms of the port. This is slightly more restrained, but still very good. I'm going to review next is Glendronic 12 year old, which I haven't seen in years, but appeared on my liquor store shelf uh, this week and I grabbed it. And I'm going to review that. That's a big sherry cask bomb, as I recall. So it'll be interesting to compare it to this, which is a pork finish, but nevertheless, see the differences, see the wood management. Thanks for tuning in. Glen Morangi, Quinta Rubin, aged in pork pipes, does well. Take care, and I'll see you next week or in two weeks.